you always start with your background. I do. I'll sketch this out. With I think we heard a knock at the door. I think so too. Look at this oh, on camera. Man. Crashing What's the party. We got door, Drew everybody. from Como's Comic Books. Hey, it's like candy camera all of a sudden. I'm used to yeah. bam, bamboozled. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with Swaggle Haas. A very special video here on the YouTube channel today because we are in St. Louis, Missouri. That is right. We've left California and we are on a very special trip to do a little bit of comic book hunting in the St. Louis area, but also meet a very, very special comic book collector and incredible artist, David Ruggieri, a supporter of my Kickstarter. We're gonna take a look at his studio, take a look at some of his comic book collection, and we might come across a very, very special comic book YouTuber guest that is native to this area. I'm very much looking forward to that. It should be a lot of fun. Come with me on this trip, and let's go check out some art and some comic books. All right, I went into that vinyl store, no success. Absolutely zero comic books, although they did have those Doctor Doom covers. And then I went to this other comic book store and they had no back issues. You know, it was mostly modern comics and board game stuff. So we're 0 for 2 right now in St. Louis. But it's okay, we're gonna take a little pause. We're gonna go to David's studio. We're gonna check that out. All right, let's go. Let's go on the way. I think this is him. There he is right there. Famous artist. That's it. Famous artist, David Ruggieri. What's up, Mr. Swagglehoss? How you doing? All right, I got a lift from David, and we're gonna go up to your studio right now. Absolutely, right? absolutely. All right, I'm gonna follow You're David here. You're welcome. The private tour, the private studio. Uh, this is his gallery, and so we're gonna take a look at some of his work, and I'm excited to see what he's got. Come on in, Let's see what we have. All right, David, this is your studio. So so tell me a little bit about, I guess, how the studio started, a little bit about your artwork. Yeah, so my artwork is all pop art, graffiti inspired, a lot of nostalgia. So this stuff really resonates with people my age. So here we have the Jordan series that I did, and this is uh, you know for big shoe collectors out there. Uh, you know, the Jordans came out when I was in high school, and it was such a big part of you know, growing up with the, the, the fashion and, and the shoes, and, and I had the original Jordans, but we weren't shoe collectors back right. then. These are two of the colorways. I had a series of five of them, three of them are sold. I have this one, the orange and the black is known as the shattered backboard. Right. Uh, that, when Jordan was a rookie in the summer league, he broke the backboard, right. and he was wearing an orange and a black outfit, so the Nike, as a tribute to that, came up with that. And here are the Lakers version uh, for are you LA yeah. people. Yeah, LA native right here, although I am a Warriors fan. So what about this, if I'm gonna walk home today, I mean, do you mind telling me how much a, a piece like this costs? Yeah, so this is 36 by 36, all original. It's spray paint and acrylic on canvas. This is almost entirely spray paint, except for except for that line was acrylic. Uh, but this piece is $4,000. $4,000. Let's put it into terms, how, how comic book collectors. If I was gonna sell you my Avengers 1 in a 4.0 for $4,000, there you go. Right, if I was a big video game player, uh, here's Qbert for all you people in the That's know, cool. right? I spent a lot of time trying to uh, trying to beat that game. Yeah. And uh, it was, uh, again, this was right when video games were becoming you know, becoming a thing and becoming affordable. I was an art major in college, okay. and uh, and I really was inspired by a lot of the comic books that were coming out at the time in high school. Like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right. uh, were a big influence on me. Uh, Kevin Eastman, you know, I, I really admired what, what he was doing and the creativity and just the artwork, the, the line work, and so that really, really made me want to draw. Here's a couple pieces I did based on, uh, based on comic books and again the, the, the love of comics this is the Punisher piece and what I did with the Punisher piece is I took old vintage comic book pages and I mounted them on canvas 
and then I painted uh, the Punisher in, um, in that's acrylic paint in a, in a style that, uh, you know, kind of my style, to give it a flow, to give it some, some depth. What I really love about comics and what I really love about the artwork of comics is that there have been so many different iterations and versions of Batman, but they all mean the same thing. People see it and they instantly know that's Batman. And you know, in the background, I, I use comic books from different decades to kind of help emphasize that, right? So here we have the kind of the 60s Batman, Batman look, but you know, as it went through to the Batman of the 80s and the 90s and now, uh, you know, they're vastly different, right? right. Yeah. But they're instantly recognizable and you know what it means, you know what it stands for, and it brings back just tons of memories. This has got to be a conversation starter. Everyone, I feel like, is going to have a reaction to this. They do. They have a story. They're like, oh, man, I haven't seen that yeah. in forever. Or, or or they tell me, they say, you know, I still have my original Nintendo, you know, in a box somewhere. Right. And I tell them, I say, you got to dust that off. So, no graffiti is just kind of uh, tongue-in-cheek, you know, being a graffiti artist. And with, uh, with my experiences, whenever a city would paint on a wall, no graffiti, that's almost like putting a bullseye on it. So, everybody uh... would block flock there gotcha. so it's kind of the the idea that uh, they tell you not to do something so that's exactly where you go to paint it filling up layer after layer that's Texture. how you create the, the this background type of feel exactly exactly and then I'll purposely put drips in there and other things to give it, uh, to give texture as the light moves across, it'll hit different highlights. Okay. And that's, so you always start with your background. I do, I always start so with the background. You get, you get a canvas done and then you know what you want to put on top. And then, I, then I'll, I'll sketch this out with a pencil and then I kind of give my, my main points and then, I'll, and then I'll just pick up spray can and start painting. I think we heard a knock at the door. I think so too. We got a special guest right here. Look at this oh, on man. camera. Crashed in the party. We got going, Drew everybody? from Como's Comic Books. Hey. What's going on? Good. It's good to see you. It's like candid camera all of a sudden. I'm just you know? damn bamboozled. Well, yeah. Drew, crashing the party. Yeah, in the turtle shirt. Looking with for the, Ninja Turtles. With a turtle book. I was just making the joke earlier that I was like, you know, you could buy one of David's pieces. Yeah. You know, but uh, that would eat into your it would. Turtle, Turtles number one money. <laughs> yeah, I brought all my trade fodder today. I'm like, I don't know where we're going to go. You never know. You got to be prepared whenever. Yeah. So, yeah, I got some goodies in the car. But right. is this from Planet? Yeah, Planet yes, this is. year. Yeah. Little number TMNT number four. Four, first print, wrap around. That's the thing I feel like a lot of people don't recognize is a lot of these early covers are front and back. So you miss out so much by just looking at the front. Right. Um, and then never mind the second printing of this, which, you know, has the cover from the video game that all of us grew up That's on right. and love. So I was uh, I was very excited at the Kansas City Comic Con uh, to go and meet uh, Kevin Eastman, who is uh, just a great guy, by the way. I mean, he is absolutely fabulous. I went up and I told him my story, you know, that you got me into art and, you know, yeah. you got me drawing and, you know, you kind of... Uh, I think what was important about this when I was in high school is that it made me realize people can make a living in the creative field, right? By right. drawing and creating and stuff like that. Because there are so many people that tell you, you know, oh, you'll be a starting artist, you, you need a real job, that yeah. kind of stuff. And then, uh, you know, something like this happened and it was so fresh and new. And, you know, this is the kind of thing that I wish I would have thought of it, right? You know, and right. I, you know right. I, to me, that's a big compliment, right? right? You know, I'm like, man, this is so genius and great. And I met, I met him. Uh, he talked to me and my sons for you know 10 15 minutes and just as gracious as can be going back to the uh kind of the the off the the slightly off comic books is yeah. uh, the tick uh the tick's just a, it's just a great character i mean yeah. it's just you know I, it's just making fun of of himself and everything yeah, and he's got your uh your little um what do you call the the, the, the photo, viewfinder the viewfinder right here which yeah. i don't know if we saw that one but there's right. another little viewfinder piece. Which exactly. Is kind of fun. This is my most recent purchase. Noting here as we have. Uh, oh, I, I've heard of this one. Unless somebody's really put themselves out there, it's hard to really 
express how difficult it is to, to do something like this. Yeah. So uh, just to let everybody know, I mean, this is not a small undertaking. And, you know, you put stuff out, artwork for everybody to see and everybody comments on it. And it, uh, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of you know internal yeah. in, internal gusto to do that. It, it, it's a journey, and it, it's not over yet. And right. as you know, like you know, once you start it, and, and you're building it out, it's like you just got to keep going. So. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, it's it's amazing how it happens. You know, I mean, five years ago, I was selling drawings off of this table, <laughs> right? right, off of this table for twenty five bucks, and Very it cool. has grown and grown and grown. And uh, and I'm sure I I, I am sure that in 20 years someone's going to have a youtube channel and they're going to pick out a graded copy of sanity and they're going to say this is a great book that would definitely be cool all right well we saw some paintings we did some autograph signings here we're going to take drew david i think you're coming with us Drew's got some, maybe some cool comic book stores. So uh, come with us, guys. A hundred? That seems cheap. Yeah, ain't bad. I mean, hundred bucks I mean, for a page you actually get a, a Batman fighting. Panel? Yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby yet. Here we are. Not gonna buy it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, that about wraps up this little tour. We escaped that comic store with our wallets intact. And even though that means we didn't walk away with any comics in hand, I still had a ton of fun. After visiting this shop, we toured more of the city, had some St. Louis pizza before heading back to David's gallery to say our goodbyes. All right, David. Well, thank you so much for the tour of your amazing artwork. Thank you for supporting my comic book and my Kickstarter. Uh, appreciate you having me out here. Hey, not a problem. It was great meeting you, and the book is fantastic. Everybody pick up a copy of it, and pretty soon you're going to have people flocking to you to do stories about you and your studio and your, pro well, your prog process. That'll be the dream. That'll be the dream. Yeah. But, uh, thanks so much, David. Hey, not a problem. Thank you for stopping by. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you. My trip to St. Louis was an absolute blast. Getting to hang out with Como, getting to hang out with David and see his art up close, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, you know, one of the great things about this hobby of comic book collecting is all the friends you get to meet, you know, all the amazing places you get to go and all the experiences that you get to have, you know, uh, surrounded around this hobby that we all really love. I want to say one more time, thank you to David for being such a wonderful host. I had a great time in St. Louis, but unfortunately, all things must come to an end. I have to go back to Los Angeles. But of course, before I do, I got to go get some more St. Louis barbecue. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next trip.